hey how you guys doing welcome back to my channel i'm mocha baby if you are a newbie thank you for subscribing to me how are you welcome to the family if you've been following me for some time hey how you doing how's life treating you you know how we get it popping on this channel we're all just one big happy lit family and before we get started you guys i know if you are like me you are definitely glad that the election is over well at least it's almost over but we do know who the president well the next president of the united states is going to be we just have one more thing to do here in georgia and that is elect john ossoff and reverend warnock on january the 5th we have one more thing to do uh, but enough about that moving right along we're going to get into the topic for this video and this is going to be a review of episode five of one more chance and we have so much to discuss so we're just going to jump right into it you guys um let me start by saying that this episode it really doesn't add anything on to the narrative it kind of like once one of the other episodes before it kind of just wraps up everything we kind of just dive right back into the drama as it's unfolding to kind of recap a little bit um at the end of the last episode everything kind of just hit the fan we had mangina and yodala going at it um mangina had snitched and told on yodala that she has another nigga and she been booed up and talking to another dude in the house and they went out and it was these two cars both full of niggas from what Mangina says and uh, she was basically getting her Mac on. Uh, of course Yodala denies everything and Mangina even pulls in secret to kind of back up his story, her story. Well, she backs up half of the story she said that she did see the two different cars pull up um with dudes inside however she says that she doesn't know one way or the other what was said much to mangina's dislike um still much to yodala's dislike but I think it's safe to say that there's definitely something there going on with Yodala and these guys because when they get back into the, to the van, which is where we pick up in this episode, we have Yodala and Mangina getting into it. We have the rah-rah, Yodala lady he who, Yodala lady he who argument going on. And they going back and forth for a while. And the odd thing happens. We have Special K getting into the argument for whatever reason. I don't know why she feels like she has to insert her two cents. Why she is popping off. Because once again, it doesn't have nothing to do with her. I'm like sitting there watching like... What is Special K even talking about? Like, why is this helpful getting in the middle of this argument talking about something about she trying to prove about what she got, that she got a portion, she got this, that, and the third, but it ain't got nothing to do with that. So, I was sitting there scratching my head like, huh? Really? I think sis was just trying to get her screaming time. That's what I think that was all about. Because, yeah, I definitely think she was trying to get her screen time because it didn't have nothing to do with her at all. 
she just jumping in the business when the business ain't even about her. So I'm just like, she needs to have several seats. Matter of fact, Shawty can build her seat and then have several. Um, so the drama keeps going and keeps going and then Yoda tells the driver to stop the van because she gonna get the goons to come get Manchina and then it's this whole big thing about Yola outside the van and the driver telling the other girls to go get Yola because they gotta get ready for elimination and so did I mean at this point I'm cracking up it's hilarious to me uh, that this is still going on but a good part of the girls get out of the van to go and kind of I guess comfort Yodala kind of you know get her to come back to the van and inside the van we have Mangina and Mangina is doing the same thing he popping off getting on the phone and he is that he he she is calling her goons um saying much of the same thing you know this trick you won't want to pop off on me this that and the third well you know she got news coming for her if she think that i'm just gonna sit here and just take it i got something for her too i can call my goons too she thinks she got goons i got goons too i got goons too so it's just basically watch, rinse, and repeat of that for much of the first part of the show. They finally get Yodala to get back in the van and they begin to ride again. And it's still much of the same going on watch, rinse, and repeat. Special case still throwing out her two cents in calling somebody to prove whatever she got which to me makes no sense because why do you have to call somebody to prove what you got matter of fact why do you have to prove what you got to anybody i mean is what you got is what you got so to me that makes it seem like maybe you don't have what you say you got because if you got it then you got it you don't have to prove that to nobody I mean, who the hell are these people that you got to prove whatever it is that you got to them? But moving right along, we get back to the house. They're still going back and forth at it. Uh, the other half of the girls are already back at the house at this time. Then we get a, uh, we don't really get a scene. We get like where they put the words up on the screen saying that chance, you know, talk both sides down and um you know talk them from not letting the goons come into the house which my honest opinion is i don't think the goons was coming anyway i just think it was a whole bunch of hot smoke glass and mirrors anyway from either side just to kind of get screen time um i don't think that yodel's goons was coming because if they would have came they would have came they would have been at the house when they got there because they took a while to get there so the goons was not coming in the same with mangina like if you had called your goons and your goons was down for when they was coming with it they would have been there they would have been there waiting when y'all got out the van so it was obvious to me that nobody's goons was coming and the whole thing was dumb Anyway, I mean, Yoda, if you got a nigga, you got a nigga. But the thing to me is, if you do got a nigga, why are you talking to this dude while you in the house supposedly trying to get this other man? That don't make no sense to me. Just hold off on all of it. Um, but moving right along, then we have, we get two different sets of people talking we got the set talking to mangina and then we got the set that is talking to yodela you know each one basically hyping them up you know saying how they believe that they side is the right side in the matter um which to me is 
she got a dude and she not right. Even Chance, he did look in her phone. Okay, like I was saying, um, if you got a dude, you got a dude. It is what it is. Uh, you wrong, you wrong, wrong is wrong. Uh, regardless of how you feel about, you know, mangina, attention or whatever it is, what it is. Okay, fast forward, we get to elimination. Um, he, his nothing really, in my opinion, memorable about, um, elimination outside of the fact that he did eliminate grandmama which i mean we knew was coming because of the age difference and then not just that i mean because you know we have you know older women that don't look their age you know let, let's say it had been an older lady with a banging body and didn't look you know as old as grandma mom did in the face then i really think she would have had a chance in the competition but honestly grandma mom never really had a chance in the competition and it is amazing that she did make it to this point that she did make it you know five episodes and that's not too bad because i honestly just think she was there for comedy relief anyway uh, her run comes to an end on the show. And as well as BDB's run comes to an end on the show. Which I have something to say about that. Um, It's really strange and weird that he brought her back just to let her go at the next elimination i mean if i was her i don't know if i would have came back because obviously his feeling you know did not change about her his feeling was saying that you know he always did say that he didn't think that she was really there for him and so he was never going to be feeling her like that anyway so, if that had came up, I probably would not have went back, knowing that it was probably going to end still in the same way. It just prolonged the inevitable, because really, when uh, Plastica left with her sister, Karen, that made it, you know, he wasn't intending on getting rid of her at that time. So that, you know, made it be an extra hat. And they weren't, really wanted a, a body warmer, a hat warmer, really. So that's really what BDB was. She was a hat warmer. And I wouldn't have been his hat warmer. And that pretty much ends this episode. Um... Yodala still stays. He didn't get rid of her. At least not yet. I honestly think he wants to bang her before he gets rid of her because she is a, a very pretty girl. She's one of the prettier ones in the house to me. So I think that I don't think he really has too much use for her. But I do think that he likes to look at her and he wants to bang her before he lets her go. Um, so I do think that that's why that she's still there. Um, let's see. I think I covered, yeah, I covered everything that was in this episode. Yeah, I did. Oh, and secrets. I don't like secrets. I think sneak secrets is very sneaky. See, at least with the other girls. We know how they're coming. They're loud. They're ratchet. But with secrets, secrets probably got some secrets. And secrets act like she was goody goody. But she's turning out not to be as goody goody as she had pretended to be at first. 
So I definitely think that the rest of the girls should keep an eye on secrets. And with that, I'm going to end this video right here. Um, all the episodes have been watched to this point. I will be back next week and review episode 6. And as always, if you are not subscribed to me, please do so by hitting the red box down there. And then ring the bell so that you can be notified every time I post a video. And as always, stay blessed, stay fly, and may angels be encamped about you. Until next time.